this game, Lumi, which we haven't mentioned, is the, the Ion Shell Bear. Oh, yeah. Very obnoxious. I love it. Prepare for battle. That's true. All right, let's get into it. Game two, secret, a win here. Completely controlling their own destiny. They move into the upper bracket, a loss, a Del GD. They would advance, no pressure, maybe. This time around, looks like he'll be headed to the side lane and it seems Silar will be the mid hero. Much more difficult for a bounty hunter to pressure. Curious to see if Secret are expecting this. The, of course, Shadow Fiend will be the one that goes mid. So no big surprises there, but this is an old curveball LGD used to throw a lot. TK perhaps having flashbacks to the Chow 8 teams of old. Thirty mm -hmm. seconds to battle. Gives a little poke to DDC off the bat. He's trying to force out a sentry here and then just run the hell away. A lot of damage done. DDC, heavy harass. Somebody help this guy. He pops the chili touch. He's going to commit onto this pie. Low sentry drops. Long range. 6 HP. I lie, die. Oh, no. Not the way to start the lane, but they do get the double bounty rune. And I guess... Normally, normally that's a big win, but this is a lone druid. He doesn't really need like that quick bottle or you know any early item the way other mids do. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a small consolation prize. Is the pressure of knowing that you would be flaming him, Lumi? That was that was a forced error. Your pilot eyes worst enemy. And they have a sentry down now. So they're gonna back off. Sentry wars. Boom, boom. That's a win for the bounty. They already have boots on Silar. And this is gonna be a tough way to pressure. Just a ranged hero. You've got the bear to kind of annoy the bounty hunter and trade more effectively when he runs in. And uh, once you get level six, you're basically ungankable. So I think this should go okay for Silar, especially at these early levels. It's taking a bit of harass, but he can give it back out. So let's look at our other lanes. What do we have? Misery, awfully clockwork. Up against an Ember AA. Actually not not the easiest lane for Clock. If he ever cogs himself in with the Ember and there's yeah, Chili yeah. Touch, he's easily dead, so. Yeah, if you balk him out, then you're absolutely fine. And meanwhile, RTK on the bottom lane, he's going to collect his level 2 up against a Bane Doom. A lot of harassment, but not a ton of killing potential here until Doom hits 6. I feel like they have not been watching Merlini with the quintuple mango build. Mango's so legit, dude. That's a lot of regen. Plus the Scorched Earth. Think of the synergy, Lumi. More regen. <laughs> Therefore, more regen is better. Yeah. Eh, you just keep on walking. Walk it off, RTK. So Pilot die. He is going to rotate in DDC and MOI. They will two-man secure the runes. Very smart. Don't want to be walking alone and then just get slowly poked down. LGD, they've got their anti-bounty hunter strategies down pat. No, and, and that's the other thing with Lone Druid is it's not like he needs like an early bottle where support's got to come and ferry it out to him. Yeah. This is just a naturally very independent hero. The courier is going to make a move, but not too far. And the other thing is he could just send the bear back to do his, his pickups for him. So yeah, I actually love the, the the Lone Druid. The more that we look at it, difficult for Bounty Hunter to kill. Not Doom not very good against him. In fact, one of the worst cores to Doom in general. Uh, and of course, very resistant to these early ganks. But Pilot Die, uh, he's trying to find openings elsewhere. He's going to pressure MY a bit. Single all attack lobbed out. They do have one sentry near the lane by Pi. Seems to be aware. He's avoiding it. RTK. Got slept up. And it'll just surge away. Another very pesky and difficult to kill hero based on the matchup.
Oh yeah. RFTK, patiently walking away. No, they need that stun to hit. Then they maybe go for the kill, but... Even if they even if they sleep into a stomp, he's not low enough. He can just surge away at that point, so... Right ahead to hit the stomp line, and then when he surges, sleep him and, and go for it. Hmm. Mm. They have Clock to initiate, so I don't necessarily think they need Blink. At the same time, he's pretty bad at catching Ember. Uh, I think they want something that fights relatively early. I don't think you want to play too passively against that maybe Ember after the way last game went. Yeah, yeah get the Alpha Wolf, go Phase Drums. I, That's like the probably the scariest Doom build. All right, well, any hope of ganky mid is over now. 1200 health, 9 armor with phase boots. That just ain't happening. I'll give the bear the phase boots. Oh, Pilot dies being cute, eh? Just trying to be as disruptive and annoying as possible. Mess up the Ember's equilibrium, maybe cause them to miss some additional last hits. But we'll see the phase gr grabbed again by maybe. Prefer them a bit. Uh, well, Pilot die will show up mid, but Siler just kind of chuckles. Let's see, Shadow Fiend, any... Oh, I think they wanted to go in Misery. Not able to. He is, in a way, though, I think doing his job, because DDC and MOI are not really getting much out of the pulls. They're under level right now. Weehaw's going to make a rotation. Oh, the Sentry's still there. The ping comes out immediately. DDC still might get run down. He's straight back to the tower. Rockets connect. Uh, it's only a level 3 clock, though. Weehaw. Full dive. He can get this with two raises. Or actually, no, it'd be three raises. Only level, only level 3 raise, but not going to risk it. It's a pretty big win. I want to get the bounty some levels, so he'll go back to the mid lane, but not a waste of time here from the Shadow Fiend. And he could have been spending, stacking the jungle. He's going to miss one stack now. Maybe he'll get the six minute rune to make up for it. Haste. Oh, I think he wants to find the Shadow Fiend stacks. There are none. Play by. How sad is he? <laughs> the next level, we know you're gonna check our jungle, so we're just not gonna stay. For a TK, poor guy, sobs quietly into his handkerchief. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Boom! There it goes. Maybe he's right, got the resummon. Tonight, nicely done by Spot. Uh oh, they're bringing in many heroes. I don't think they're even close to being able to kill him. Yeah, and uh, at some point there might be one. Phase boots cooling down. We hot. Yep. Oh, that's Silar, not an RNG lord. Clearly the Donger has a thing or two to teach him. Come on, give this man an entangle, please. Oh, he's got the Alpha Wolf. If you get a crit, then you ain't walking anything off. But yeah, as long as that doesn't happen. The thing for LGD right now is, in this particular draft, it's only the Ember that can create space. He's the one that starts the fights. That's kind of the downside of the Lone Druid. You mentioned he's an inactive mid. and So I, I expect for LGD, they're going to be very quiet until maybe he's ready to fight. Right now, just as the phase, the bottle. Probably wants to farm the Akila or Drums before he gets active, but... Well, that time, LGD are going to be in a very passive farming rhythm. They also need Ice Blast to really get active on the map. And, and so to me, this is a window for Secret. They've got heroes that can fight already. The Bane, even Clock before it's level 6 has some kill potential. And of course, Doom. They're the team that wants to fight now. Because once that Ember gets going, it's going to be a lot trickier for them. Yes, I believe he did. Oh, no. ah, poor Arch. Oh, what a coconut! Oh, where's that entangle? MMY, what a man! He's gonna run in, maybe has opted to join the fight, now pops the flame guard. Nice and early, they're gonna finish off Weehaw. 
He's got a remnant. He can look to move forward. Bottle popped, and again, maybe on a rampage now. He knows the dudes are cooldown diving in. The chain's still cooling down a bit longer, but they get the root. They get the kill. Remnant's through again. Puppy needs to help. Brain set. Not enough to heal. They barely get him, but they're going to lose another three for two exchange. It is two cores going down on each side, but the Bane, the bonus kill here, and I think the, even the bigger thing, the DDC just farming top lane alone, not being contested during this time. I'll have track soon. That's that was just really patient play by maybe. He waits until the dupe gets used. He waits until the first raise, or I think actually might have been the first two raises get used, and then he pops the flame guard. Otherwise, it gets moved immediately, and he doesn't actually get those kills. Just knocking stuff off the desk all over the place, Lumi. I'm a mess. Yeah. He can somewhat annoy the bear just by kiting it, but as far as like the hero goes, yeah, he's not gonna do anything. I'm, I'm curious what the build is. The Siler going, is this a Midas into Radiance? Is this going to be an early Maelstrom? The last time I saw Lone Druid, oh, Colonel Envy. Doom not ready yet. He's three seconds off to get caught a little too soon. Maybe gets the Doom for this, but he's going to die. Cold feet. Actually, maybe not. Scorched Earth. He's going in. He's printing. EE e. is angry. How dare you, MMY? I am your lord. All right. <laughs> Oh, maybe just swagged on him. Comes in, the casual drive by chain, so even things up somewhat, but RTK able to back away. Two for one, they get the two supports, but they lose a carry doom. So I would say more or less an even exchange there. Slight gold win for secret, but losing your doom definitely hurts. Yeah, I agree. Getting that ancient apparition and bounty hunter supports level six are. Along with the Bane, I would say those are like the three most important objectives in the game right now for both teams. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little while though. He's got the Arcane Boots as well as the Soul Range, so this will be uh, a bit delayed. Is DDC gonna hit level 6 soon? No, I, I, I think it's a... I'm a little worried for S Secret, uh, just in the sense that they have not shut down the Ember Spirit at all, or the Bear. I'm not I'm not sure how much the Bear will do this game, but I just also feel like he's a terrible Doom target, so. Yeah, they're going to start Death Falling with this, and that is the one thing that you mentioned during the draft. Secret are pretty weak in 5v5's clashes. Well, maybe not if we has a double damager, but... This is an Eternal Envy special. Definitely see his influence on Secret here, Lumi. Let's just rush. It's, hey, it's a hell of a trade. Tier 1 for a rush, but if LGD go for 2, maybe not. He's been doing it for over, like, what, a year and a half now? And still nobody seems to know. Yeah, we all got it. Mm, clocks getting blade mail. It depends on their plan. Generally, I would say you should get a mech, but you're up against AA. Maybe the Sanjay and Yasha BKB build right away could be good. Uh, well, I think BKB also addresses that. And there's Ice Blast. Ember does a lot of magic damage. I would prefer the BKB. No, 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 no. Oh, ADC, he's just, he just got the, he sees the rocket coming in, he got the, he got the willies. <laughs> I'm getting ganked. Um, alright, what were you asking? Uh, oh, entity. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't like the, like, straight BKB unless you desperately need Shadow Fiend to be able to fight. Because I just feel like by the time the crucial mid-game fights happen, uh oh, Sentry Ward pop. Weeha, Cask is gonna find him. Ice Blast revealed. Bam! Gets him. That might be the Aegis ticking low. Do they have the detection? They did pop a dust. I believe it might have been slightly out of rage. And while that's happening, Pylai Die, you mentioned the courier snipes, Lumi. He wanted it. Shitty wizard. Woohoo! 
Isama has been caught by Alfredo. Then that maybe with the jump in, he'll get the kill off the bat. The brain set finishes the jump. They're gonna lose Weha quickly. RPK trapped in the cogs. Good connection there for Misery, but they've lost him. Now the track. They want to kill off this pesky Ember Spirit. They're gonna do it with the Shuriken bouncing to the bear who was doomed at the beginning. He doesn't really care. Yeah. They lose the Aegis. They lose the Doom. Are you kidding me? I just heard the ice blast like, oh shit, where's the ice blast going? Oh my god. Alright then, not the Oh trade. my god. <laughs> In my professional assessment, that was a terrible trick. Okay then. Oh no. I don't even know how to like. Secret. I can only imagine the team chat when that happens. Like, the second that Ice Blast hits. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm pretty sure this guy's feeling rather... He just got a Midas. That literally just gave him a Midas. I don't know. I think this is one of the most... Like, oh, we just want a fight. Because he used the Ice Blast at the start of the fight, so they may not have even realized... Because they were just running down mid, it looked like. They may not even realize it had come off cooldown. It was a longer fight than expected. Mistakes were made, Lumi. Dyer's top tower is under attack. But he's really the ba the problem with the bear is it just it feels like it's so weak later on, even if he's like five or six slotted. So I I agree with you. I really like the fact that they're fighting with it now. Like while it's very strong, hard to kill. Yeah, he's like the space maker in the siege engine. Something the Ember isn't that good at. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I wish I'd see more Lone Druid in this patch. It's still kind of hard. There's been a wider variety in builds ever since the the Mana Pool addition to the hero, where you know, some players have experimented with that Blade Mail Mask of Madness build because it's got such a high HP pool that it Blade Mail really hurts when it's taking the bonus damage, but. Yeah, I'm not sure what the optimal build is right now. Ice Blast will come through. Well, hit him, Poppy, but he got that. Yeah, he got the Nightmare off, and should be okay for now. Silar turns into a little bear, then back to a big one. Weehaw's like, oh, I can Requiem this. He got, just got leveled. Requiem, that's going to leave a bit of a mark. Can they finish him off? Silar doomed as well, but in comes the Witch Sucks, and the cask is about to the heal is here. You just can't doom this thing. Alfredo is far too tanky. He'll be just fine. He actually, Soul uh, calls the Spirit Bear Alfredo, but whatever. I'm calling them both Alfredo. I don't care. I don't know why. It just sounds cute. Oh, meanwhile, Dark Dark's here getting killed up top. I think it was uh, a hook. No grip required. I guess technically, like, the this one should be Chicken. This one should be Alfredo or something. Pasta and Alfredo. I don't know. Because they go together well, you know? Jesus. It's not rocket science, guys. I got four people sitting around me who <laughs> can't put two and two together. Yeah. Some racist Asians in the house. <laughs> uh oh, mid lane. They're gripping up, maybe. This is a big kill. I'm gonna get it. Maybe not having that flawless Ember performance, though, and I mean, if you're gonna have one hero go off, you would much rather that it's the Ember than the Lone Druid. Sure. LGD. LGD would much rather have, like, a Superman Ember right now. Yeah, yeah, I... Oh! Ah, uh, Pylite, you legend. They are gonna get the Sentry War dead, but already the Shuriken has bounced through. They brain stepped DDC as well. He wildly lobbed out an Ice Blast. <laughs> That's not quite as good as the one we saw earlier. Now they're gonna sleep up Silar, but the bear keeps on going. Gets off the entangle. Puppy needs one more. The Maelstrom procs pretty strong damage here. Running him down. Give him a root. Give him a root. Oh, not gonna happen. He backs off. He turns. He tries to fight Misery. Instead, he suddenly finds himself trapped in the trees. No way out. Death Ward's coming through. Look at it go, and down he will. Link. Oh, four staff. Interesting. Or the root. Kinda good to run away from the bear. You could also force that the clockwork forward to help him initiate or chase a bit, so. 
Radiance bottom tower has uh 1200 Cylon 3000 Radiance Maelstrom? I assume AC. Whenever I see someone <laughs> Yeah, it's actually kind of hard to hit Doom on Ember. Like, even if you catch him off guard, just because you've got that cast time. Oh, RTK. Deleted, I think. Gets the mech off, though. Backpack. We are almost, almost up on the cliff. He is currently very fast, but we'll get the kill. Runs away. That was a little closer than I think Joker would have liked, but a kill's a kill. Makes them all pretty unkillable. Oh, that was ugly. Where's the root? Give him more. Mjolnir now complete. Okay, so he skips the AC. He goes for the more aggressive item. And now jumping in his baby he gets destroyed. Almost finished off, but not quite. <laughs> the bear doing the work, but not enough. Can't kill Fizzery. 34 health. Bear down. Round two. We hot and mauled. Uh, already committed the doom. Oh, we killed the empty. Yeah. Losing a Shadow Fiend as well as a Bane. I don't think they got track kill on that one either. Judging by the gold change, probably not. Are clomping up, looking for the team fight. RTK, does he have, does he have the mech? Yeah, mech's complete. There's your BKB on doom. I mean, there's Ice Blast, Iron Shell, a lot of magic damage, remember, even the Mjolnir, so definitely a good BKB game. And he's also, he has to be patient, because you really want to wait to Doom the Ember. That is, aside from the grip, their only control for that hero. So, having BKB means you stay alive longer, you can be a little more disciplined and not worry about getting picked off or panic and have to Doom right away. So, I mean, it's it's always hard to argue with a BKB. It's rarely a terrible item. I don't know if BKBs talk back, though. It's not a fair fight, Lumi. Ah, Zero Shan is back. Still feel overall like things are going quite well for Secret though. Lodjord's farming really well, but again, maybe he's been shut down thoroughly this game. The Fiend's grips have been on point. He's two and four. This is not the explosive performance we saw last time. And later on in the game, if the Bears farm, they've got plenty of control for it. Just a lot of physical damage, lockdown. Uh. Yeah, I think definitely later on. Maybe not right now. Radiance Middle Tower. We uh, have been doing a lot of work with the Shadow Blade. Yep. Oh, they even dusted. Yeah, I think it paid for itself um, pretty much already. It's forcing them to five man a lot with the Bounty Hunter. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Inching forward, Pi gonna drop a sentry. They did scout out this Observer Ward. Radiance Envy. Nope. Munch Radiance it with the Quelling Blade. Nom nom nom. Backs away. Alright, we, we see little enough Lone Druid as it is. They're gonna need a gem, honestly. Shadow Blade, Shadow Feed, the Bounty Hunter, just the great wards Pi has been getting up. You look at that Radiant Vision and they see a lot of these key choke points up towards the mid lane. They're a little poor right now, but definitely it's got to be in the, on the agenda. Maybe. Tracked up, they get the long range Doom, but he's very far back. Protected by the team, they're going to commit in on this. The Shuriken bounces through the cogs, just ignores. He drives past him, I want your face, maybe. Come back, he's devoured. DDC will be next. Oh, that BKB paid for itself there. Silar TP out scrambling. MMY massacred. Will fall. Four down in the end as they also lost RTK on the flip side of the fight. They might even lose the bear. Raise. It's tanky. It's fast. It will get out. And it's up. 
that's the thing with the low druid is like a lot of times in actual fights you can just run around him and ignore him and secret played that really well they basically just bypass the bear forget about it it's not going to kill as quickly as we can we'll deal with it after the heroes are dead and that's exactly what happened where's the root where's the root give this man a root not strong enough They want additional kills. Doesn't seem like they're gonna find it. Yes. Oh, fairly big overextension there. They definitely could have backed safely. Now LGD, they might get the Roche off of this. I, no Doom. The the ult is cooling down soon, but he doesn't have buyback. And if LGD see the buyback, they can always retreat. So this is a very safe Roche. These fights go a lot differently if he's got a second life. All the one fights have been him just getting caught and picked off at the start. Oh, he's tracked as well. Looks like he is going to go down. They pop him. LGD just too worried about securing their Aegis to even fight that. Oh, they do get it. Maybe they'll get Puppy as well. He's trying to retreat. Glimmer Cape running for it. Ice Blast coming in hot. Bam. Uh, I don't know if it's enough. They might need one more auto attack. Does he? Does he? Does he? Get back here, Daddy! Can't find him. Tyler couldn't get in range. Uh-oh. Maybe! Oh, what? Swagged on. His sleight of fist was on cooldown, so he, he didn't have any way to dodge that. Once he remnanted back. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> it's a pretty strong ability. I don't know. I have no idea. That's. I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen anyone like... How do I counter Lone Druid right now, guys? That's not a conversation that many players are having at the moment. Yeah, he gets asked why, or uh, sorry, the, the Helm of the Dominator. This is your, I call it the Yawar build, not to say that he invented it, but just the player I've seen going for it the most. Ace. It helps you jungle a bit, you always keep your HP up. But yeah, in the fights, obviously, this is not the, the most effective item. Speaking of the AA, DDC, he got a Midas, like, what? 12? 13 minutes ago? He still has not gotten... Has he gotten any components? No, nothing. I... Yeah, I, I think he want. You're up against Doom. I feel like you really want the eggs. Got Splads and the Javelin, so either MKB or Basher potentially coming, maybe. He gets gripped under the tower, maybe again in very deep on his own! Bam! Weeha lays him out. He will die, and then a turtle envy arrives. He's gonna doom the bear of all things. <laughs> just level death. Holy shit! Did you see that? He just munched up that witch doctor. Down for the count. Hey, kill one bear. They want the other. Papa, you're next. Give me your porridge. Looking forward. There's the hook. They got him. Well, they've gotten two of the bears, Lumi. I just need to find Goldilocks. Ever heard of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Oh, sick back here, my heart. Fairy tale. All right, RTK, <laughs> danger. I didn't have much of a childhood if you never heard about Goldilocks and the Three Bears, my friend. That's probably like a Chinese version of it. Jesus. That was a terrible fairy tale. <laughs> Nightmare. Oh, Isama, he's up to 3,800 gold now. 
Mm. They have the Shadow Fiend to do physical damage, so I don't I don't think you need Doom to be like the battle doom or anything. I I think eggs is definitely Shiva's is Shiva's refresher is probably the main other option, but the eggs adds a lot to your team fight. Sometimes. Like that fight he got gripped first. I think if he's just doomed, there are fights where he can get away. I get it. Shiva's it is. So, yeah, and Shiva's just good against the bear. Yeah. Doom definitely does need armor, and he only has three right now, so. At some point, if the game goes on, this looks. Jeff definitely looks like the caster build, so then you're looking at like, your egg, Shiva's refresher, elite two heroes, fight 5v3. Should be able to win from there. Oh, they're very ahead, and they're about to get more ahead. <laughs> Don't finish off maybe that time, though. Vanguard saving lives. Uh, didn't have mana. Yeah, he didn't have mana. No, I don't think so. There's no way he would have leveled up over Dooming. I also I didn't hear it. The one earbud man. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Electric <laughs> electrocution earbuds. Radiant's they just have to farm the Ember. Like, Lone Druid is just, to me, a non-factor at this point. I don't know, put six items on the bear. I feel like you just ignore it most of the time. They're just so good at bypass here. They can BKB out of the tangle. They can hook past it. Bounty Hunter's always going to just kind of sneak up behind you. Yeah. Bounty Hunters actually turned out to be pretty good versus the bear because of that. Like, just allowing the team to kite. So they get the Battle Fury. I mean, to me, the way LGD most likely wins this game if they come back, and oh, it's going to be quite the comeback. We'll be down 14,000 gold, and experience is... You go really late with a super stacked Ember, you get the AA Ags, and then you just look for that big cleave combo into an Ice Blast. But uh, that's not exactly what Secret are planning on happening in this game. The Hook's gonna come out, they doom Silo, they just keep on doing the bear, they say screw it. He might be a terrible target, but we can afford to get away with that MMI with the Death Ward. EE may end up going down, he tanks for a while, he will eventually fall. Now the back wall, back on the wheel, they've lost two both big beefy cores, a huge loss. But they hook Misery out. They got some track gold there, right? But not enough, apparently. Misery's in danger now. No, well, maybe not. That's the blade mail. Alright, five seconds until Remnant Lumi. This could be dangerous for maybe. He does have dust available. He's gonna get slept up. Shuriken. There's the hook. They chain him. They burst him down. It's a wipe for secret. Well. <laughs> It doesn't help when the AA just dies right off the bat and basically does nothing in the fight. He, he should, I really think DDC should have rushed the eggs. Yeah, it's kind of cute that like both of your supports can have items because he's got a Midas and, you know, Witch Doctor doesn't have to buy wards, but... Four Staff is, it's a nice item, but eggs is a game winning item. I. Uh, yeah, it's a, it gets to clockwork. You can kind of understand it, but the bear getting caught in the cogs isn't that big of a deal. Ember can always jump out. AA is always sitting back if he's played smart, so... Yes, you need a force stat versus clockwork, but I'm not convinced like they needed it more than an eggs on AA. I still would not 100% count LGD out. It looks really bad, but this is the kind of draft that can make a comeback from this situation. But it's going to come down to secret mistakes. They have the map control now. They have the better fighting lineup. They, they can deal with the Ember for quite a while, and we uh, may be going to kill him off again. He's looking for that perfect Requiem directly under him. So the timing's not right. <laughs> I mean, you you go for that. Why not? If it misses, no big deal. They don't they don't really need the requiem right now. 
I don't see LGD trying to contest the rush, that's for sure. The wages of fear. That's Puppy. Very thoughtful ally. By the way, look how far Puppy is at <laughs> track gold. All their heroes. All their heroes. That's a Midas AA who's 3,000 down on the supports of Secret. Exactly. All that and then some. The two tower advantage ain't hurting too much either. And now Pi, he's gonna get an ultimate orb. They will track Silar. What is this ultimate orb for, Lumi? Is this a, a Lincolns? A Hex? Hex for Ember? Oh. Huh. What are you I talking about? He got an ultimate arm. Hi. <laughs> you want me to tell you how, uh, how you. <laughs> Please, let me tell me a story. Uh, I can't believe they keep on dooming the bear, and it seems like it's fine. They just run in and start smacking. MMY's gonna go down. <laughs> it's eight. They're so strong that they can kill him anyway. DDC likely to be next. <laughs> just eating up inside. LG base. Then a hook forward. They get the grip off, and then they push him back in. That's gonna be a track kill on maybe secret. Just all of a sudden, they hit the kill switch, and that's it. EG. LGD down to the lower bracket. They had their moments. I think a few things this game. They did a great job of shutting down maybe. He just didn't have that incredible performance as last time, and the Bane was probably the biggest factor shutting him down. Uh, the Lone Druid pick, he did well in the lane, he wasn't ganked by the Bounty Hunter.